Hello fellow crafters, this is Beth with Crafty Corner and I am here today to show you one of the many awesome reasons having a bright pad will come in handy. I have the bright pad Go, which is cordless and that is what I will be showing you today. I feel like most people know that the bright pad is great for weeding. It can help you really see those cut lines to know exactly where you need to weed. It has a power button up here and plus and minus buttons. There are five different levels of brightness. It is going to be hard to see in this video as my camera wants to auto fix the lighting. The bright pad is super light and ultra thin. It also has a non-slip base. The bright pad go has over two hours of battery life and here is where you would plug it in when you needing to charge. Today I want to show you how I use this bright pad to trace a drawing with infusible ink pens to put on a hat. Here is a drawing that my best friend's son drew. I scanned it on my printer and made a smaller version of it. You could use the original if you like that size. I'm going to cover it with a piece of paper so that you can see how the bright pad is going to help us. You can barely see the drawing currently, but when I turn it on, we are able to see it perfectly. These are the infusible ink pens I'm going to be using, this black one. Here is my drawing that was um, printed from my printer, just a copy of the drawing. I am going to flip it over because infusible ink needs to be put on backwards or mirrored. So I flipped it over and then I'm going to uh, tape it down just so that it's not moving around while we're tracing it. Then this is just plain white copy paper I'm going to put over the top and I'm going to tape that one down as well. All right, now we are all set. We are going to turn the bright pad on so we can see our drawing design here. And I'm going to take my infusible ink black pen and start tracing. I just went nice and slow, tried to copy those lines just the best I could. When it got real small like this, because I sized it down, um, some of the design got a little bit close together. Um, so maybe something bigger would have been a little bit better, like a t-shirt. Um, but I was pretty excited to put this on a hat. So um, we will keep going here. Kind of hard to see, but the bright pad is making it Super easy to be able to trace all of these lines exactly how he had drawn it. All right, and we are finished tracing, and here is our design. We're going to remove this one. So you can see I basically just copied it exactly how it was. So here's his little signature he puts on all of his artwork, um, and I want to put this on there as well. So again, I just took the original artwork, tip, flipped it over um, so that it was backwards, and just copied it right onto my little guy here. All right, next let's put it on the hat. So we're gonna turn the hat press on to the third setting, which is for infusible ink. I am going to remove the cardboard part of the hat. 
open up the back of the hat and I'm gonna place it right on my hat form here. The next thing I do is take a lint roller and get rid of any sort of debris or hair, anything on the hat. Then I'm going to take my design and flip it so that the ink is facing the hat. And then I am going to use this strong grip heat resistant tape to tape that down. Kind of hard on the curve, but just do your best. Get it real nice and flat against the hat. We don't want this moving around at all while we're heating it. Otherwise, you'll find a smear or smudge um, with the ink itself. So just getting it nice and flat. After that it has been taped down, we're going to take some of this parchment paper. It does come in infusible ink transfer sheets. And again, we're going to use this strong grip heat resistant tape. And we're going to tape the parchment paper right over the top. So I'm going to take my heat press and I am going to place it right over my design. And here you can see I'm just slowly going back and forth making sure that my entire design is underneath that heat plate. Finally, I am going to remove the top layer of the parchment paper. And then carefully I'm going to remove my drawing. And there we have a personal drawing onto a hat. Using the bright pad, go for tracing. How awesome is that? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.